Anwar al Bach hasn't heard from his family since last Saturday when Hamas carried out its operation. He is a Gaza resident who was working in Israel. After the attack, he sought refuge in the occupied West Bank. While we were interviewing him, his phone rang. It was his son in Gaza. How are things with you? How are your brothers, mother, grandfather? He reassures him that they are fine. Thank God, thank God. But his son asks his father if he's okay. Don't worry about me, I am fine. The most important thing is you. I asked Anwar how he felt now that he had heard from his family. Since the early morning, I have been waiting to contact them, but I have not been able to. I've been worried sick about them. I don't eat, drink or sleep. Not just me, but also everyone here. Nazmi Shannon is among thousands of men like him, stranded in the occupied West Bank. They work in Israel under an agreement made with Gaza Labor Ministry. Fearing violent backlash, many escaped to the occupied West Bank in a journey that took many hours. Others have been rounded up by Israeli police for interrogation. They were later released and left at a checkpoint. We arrived here with great difficulty. The settlers attacked us and some of us were injured. We traveled for three hours and traveled a long distance to reach the checkpoint. Cut off from their homes and far from their families, they spent their time in this makeshift home at a local government building designed for sports and arts. It's now a camp for displaced people. Those coming in overwhelmed the Palestinian authorities and the number keep on growing. We provide basic necessities and needs and provide living conditions, including a place to sleep, as well as food, plus medical attention. Yes, there is a crisis in providing medical supplies, but this is caused by the large numbers of displaced people. But we try as much as possible to meet all their needs. These men spend their day watching the news and witnessing their homes being destroyed. They patiently wait for that one phone call to let them know that their family members and loved ones are doing okay. Mohammed Al Qasim, TRT World, Ramallah, the Occupied West Bank.